I ordered some little two riders from Two Plastic Pimps. And uh, this is specifically to review them because I don't really see any reviews for them out there. And I think for people who might have sensory problems or just people who aren't sure that they're really going to be comfortable or interesting enough, uh, you know, I think, I think it'd be nice to have a video showing what they're like and to talk about them a little bit. Um, so the site on Two Plastic Pimps on Etsy, uh, ad, you know, advertises that they're for adults and kids who want to feel proud to wear their hearing aids and see eyes. And that is fabulous and fantastic and lovely and wonderful. Um, so I ordered a couple. I ordered a ghost, a fucking adorable little ghost. And I also ordered this adorable little bat because Halloween is coming up and every day before Halloween is literally very close to Halloween because that's how I am. I love Halloween. So I got these and you know, so far they're really, really freaking cute. And they're also really quite comfortable. Um, I'm, you know, I have sensory issues where I can't really wear a lot of things unless they're soft enough, uh, or loose enough. I can't stand tight clothes, you know, stuff like that. I can barely even stand wearing this necklace, even though it's really tiny, but it touches me here and I can feel it, you know, and I'm constantly trying to you know, adjust the chain. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. But anywho, so, um, so I ordered these. I ordered the ghost and the bat. And I have really small tubing. So, you know, if you have really, really tiny tubing, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd recommend them for like little tiny babies or anything, obviously. But, you know, I have some short tubing. Let's see if that helps. And you can kind of see they have that little clear thing on the back that you use to attach them to your hearing aid tubing. Okay, now that my, my hearing aid is back on properly. Um, uh, so those little plastic tubes on the back of them attach to your hearing aid tubing, and I think they, they show you to attach them by taking the tubing off of your ear hook and putting them on that way. Um, what I did is I took the, the tubing out of my ear mold and put it, put the, the tube rider on that way because it was a little easier and I find getting the tubing back onto the ear hook to be a huge pain in the butt. So instead I did it by the ear mold. And they were really, really easy to put on. Um, they seem to fit, you know, all types of tubing, I think, except for maybe, you know, thin tube like VCEs and stuff because of the wire being so small. Um, but I think they would still stay on, but they would probably be a lot. They would probably like sit right here in your ear at, you know, where it can't go further in. So that might be how they would sit on thin tube uh, BTEs or a uh, uh, receiver in the, the ear ones. So that's the thing. But uh, I have really tiny little baby ears. You know, you can kind of see they're pretty tiny weeny, you know. So uh, even with such small ears, they do... Uh, stay on quite well and they look really cute and cool. Um, I was at McDonald's this morning and I heard some girl, uh, you know, pointing at me and going, look, they've got a ghost on their ears, an earring. And it was like, not quite an earring, but that's okay, you know. Um, so other people like them clearly, which I think is fantastic. Um, and they are quite comfortable. I don't really notice them. I'm not sure if I would notice them more if I didn't wear glasses. Um, because I can't be sure that they wouldn't touch my face or, you know, the side of my head without the glasses there. Um, and even if they would, I think they'd still be quite comfortable because there's no little sharp points. There's none of those, you know how, like, when you have a mold and at the seam of the mold, there's that little seam that can be bothersome. There's no seam like that. Um, so I think they're quite comfortable, and I think for pretty much anybody with sensory issues, they'd be pretty okay with them. I have a lot of sensory issues uh, and they still work really well for me. So I think, you know, if you're thinking about it and you're on the fence, I think you should just go ahead and get them because they're super cute and I'm super happy with them and it makes me eager to wear these things. Whereas usually I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really want to wear my hearing aids. You know, I don't want to bother with them. They make my ears itchy. Blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, I don't care if my ears are itchy. I want to wear my fucking ghost. I love my ghost. My ghost is my favorite one, I think. So if you're on the fence about getting these tube plastic pimps, do it. And when you order them, you do have to order two of them. 
because some people only have one hearing aid, so they said, you know, you shouldn't have to buy a pair. Um, so I think that's pretty fabulous, too. You know, they, they cater to pretty much everyone. So uh, I think my order for these two was like $11 or $12 with shipping because I believe they came from the UK or something like that. They came from overseas, I believe. So it did take about two weeks to get them, uh, but that's pretty reasonable for, for airmail from, from the UK, I think. So it wasn't bad at all, and I do recommend, you know, everybody should go ahead and buy them and wear some because they are super, super cute. And they have ones for, like, Captain America and Frozen. They have, like, Elsa, and I think they might have Anna also. I'm not sure. Um, but they do have some Frozen ones, and I think they had a couple other Marvel ones, maybe some Avengers or something like that for kids. Or, you know, for adults who like Marvel and the Avengers and stuff. You know, it's not just a kid's thing. Um, so, you know... Get them. Buy them if you're thinking about it. They are so, so cute. I, I love them. And a lot of them are quite gender neutral. So, you know, there wasn't, they, they don't have them listed under girls and boys section. They have them listed for like child and adult sections. So that's not too bad. That's pretty good, I think. Um, I think I got mine from the, uh, ho from the, the holiday section. Maybe I think they had a holiday section or something. I don't know. It's been too long for me to remember off the top of my head. <laughs> um, but people should definitely get them. I think that they're fantastic, and they look like they'd be really sturdy. It doesn't seem to me like the ghost would pop off of his little uh, tube holder. I don't think I don't think that would pop off or anything. I think it'd stay on pretty well. So, tube plastic pimps rocks, and they also give you a little keychain that advertises, you know, the tube plastic pimps. So that's on my keys. So if anybody asks, I can just show it to them and be like, "Oh yeah, you should totally get them," you know, and. You know, I think with that, I'm going to shine off, but I think we should take a look at my cat first. Hi, Wheatley. You sleepy? You're so sleepy. Look at your little fuzzy paws. You're such fuzzy paws. You're so sleepy, aren't you? Oh, say bye, Wheatley. Bye! <laughs>